This video is for Accentuate the Negative, Test 1 Review, Question Number 6. The directions say write the addition and subtraction sentence illustrated by each figure. Alright, as always, the line, first line starts at 0. And for this case, it goes to the left to negative 3. So we're going to start our sentence off with negative 3. Since this is an addition sentence, we know that there's going to be a plus sign next to the 3. Okay, so now what happened at the negative 3? The other arrow, to arrow took over, and it went to the right, and you can count the spaces, 9 spaces. So we're going to add 9, since it went right. Now we know we can't finish this until we have an equal sign, so when it asks for a sentence, you must include an equal sign. Again, the arrow ends at the answer, so this equals 6. Now for the subtraction sentence, again, arrow starts at 0, goes to negative 3. So we have to start the subtraction sentence the same way, because that is exactly what the line is telling us the first part of the sentence is. This time, however, this is a subtraction sentence. So instead of an addition sign for an addition sentence, we know we're going to have to subtract something. So we've got to stick a subtraction sign in there. Well, we know subtracting tells us to go left on the number line, but this arrow is going right. Well, if we were to subtract a negative, subtract tells you to go left, and then a negative tells you to reverse whatever you were just doing. So if we were going to go left here, if we do a negative 9, it's going to tell us to go right 9. So we need to subtract negative 9. Subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. Again, we're not done yet, so we got to put our equal sign. But if you do the math, you'll see it ends at 6. And again, the arrow shows us where it ends, so we have equals 6. That concludes question number 6 for Accentuate the Negative Test 1 Review.